Okay, so today we're gonna create a pattern with shapes, pre-cut shapes. Okay, so if you're in school, they're in an envelope. If you are at home, they should be in a plastic baggie. And there's these really small ones, okay? So, first thing I want you to do is pick out three shapes, okay? Three different shapes. And make sure there's at least three that are the same color of that shape. You put them in a pile. All right, so I've got three pink circles. Next up, I have three red hexagons. And I'm gonna go with three blue squares. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to glue them down to create a pattern using my glue stick. You just wanna put it on the shapes. You always wanna put it um, on the smaller surface. Oops, okay, so I'm creating a pattern with three. So I'm gonna start with that circle, then my hexagon, then my square. Now I'm gonna start over with my circle. Then what comes next? The hexagon. So you might have chosen different shapes. They're probably different colors. All right, next up, my square. Just make sure it's always going in the same order and it repeats. All right, next up, I gotta start over my square, whoop, and I kind of ran out of room here, but that's okay, you can put them closer together, might have a different piece of paper. Okay, so that's my first pattern. Pink circle, red hexagon, blue square. Pink circle, red hexagon, blue square. Pink circle, so it repeats. All right, next up, you can choose three different colors slash shapes. So let's see. Make sure that you have enough before you start gluing. And this time, if you have four different shapes that you can use, why don't you try doing that? So you might even need one less here. So if you had two of each, that would probably work. So I've got two circles, two triangles, two squares, two hexagons. All right, and I'm going to start with my circle. Then I'm gonna do my triangle. Next up, I'm gonna do my square. closer together, hopefully we get through. Okay, so then hexagon. So that is the start of my pattern. Okay, four different shapes. Now I need to go back to the circle. Okay, starting over. Okay, now we gotta go back to the triangle. And the hexagon. And just enough room there to squeeze it in. All right, so I did a three shape pattern and now I did a four shape pattern. Okay. All right, and if you have more shapes left over, you can try and do another one. You know, maybe using a couple of the same shapes but different colors. Okay, so there I've got just two different shapes, but 
four different colors. All right, so see how many lines pattern you can do with your shapes. All right, so today we're back talking about patterns and we are gonna create some patterns with objects. Now I know uh, most people have uh, Legos in the classroom or at home, so we are going to use those. If you don't have that, you can use any object that you have multiples of, okay? So a different type of block, uh, I don't know, game pieces, uh, dolls that you, I don't know, anything. All right. So first thing, I've gathered some Legos together. Now I wanna sort them in piles that are similar. So I'm first I'm gonna do like all the blues in a pile, all the greens in a pile. Well, I've only got one yellow. Let's see, put all the reds. Let's see, now I've got dark grays. Browns. Oh, there's dark gray and light gray and brown. All right, so I've sorted them in two piles of similar colors. Now I do have a couple of different size blocks. So I have like um, an eight dot block and a six dot block. So I want to divide them up even further. Put all the eight dot blocks. So. The black should have the, should be the same size and the same colors in your piles. Now, I only have one yellow, so I'm gonna discard that because I won't be able to repeat it to create a pattern. So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna move all the eight dot blocks out of the way, and I'm just gonna use the six dot blocks. All right, so I have one, two, three, four different colors of six dot blocks. Let me zoom in a little bit here. All right, so I'm gonna pick one of those colors. I'm gonna start with brown. I'm gonna stack it on top of the light blue. Then I'm gonna do light gray. And then I'm gonna do dark gray. All right, so not a pattern yet, but I have my four different colors here. All right, now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna start back at brown. And I'm gonna do light blue. then light gray, then dark gray, okay? So it goes brown, blue, light gray, dark gray, brown, blue, light gray, dark gray. So it's repeating, it's a pattern. All right, I have some blocks left, so I can repeat again. All right, and I don't have that final dark gray, but it's still a pattern up until that point. I just don't have that dark gray to repeat again. So there you go, there is a pattern with my blocks. All right, now I'm gonna, since I have enough, so I have a few more colors here. I'm gonna kind of cheat and use these skinny ones as a double, okay? So, let's see, I've got a lot of these dark gray ones. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six colors here. So. Um, however many colors you have and you have multiple stuff, try and make a pattern with that many colors. I'm gonna start with the dark gray. I'm gonna go to the brown. So then I'm gonna do green, light gray, red, light blue. Okay, so and there's my set. I've got my six blocks. Dark gray, brown, green, light gray, red, blue. Okay, so now I wanna start again with the one at the top. Okay, so dark gray. Now I need brown. Okay, next up, green. Okay, and 
look what's underneath green. That's the light gray. Okay, yours is gonna be different because you're gonna have different colors. So just look at your strip. Okay, let's see, I need red. I need light blue, then I'm back to the beginning. So I need my dark gray, so I'm gonna go back to the beginning. So it might vary on how many different colors you can fit in your pattern too. Okay, I'm gonna kind of cheat. It's gonna look like the same size, but okay. There we go. Then what's next? Oh, then I need that light gray. And then my red. And then my light blue. Whoops, I broke off part of that. All right, light blue, and then I'm back to the beginning. I don't have uh, many other colors, but I can add these last two so it keeps the pattern going. So we have a pattern of dark gray, brown, green, light gray, red, blue, then we're back to the beginning. Dark gray, brown, green, light gray, red, blue, dark gray, brown, green, light gray, red, blue, dark gray, brown. Okay, so it always goes in the same order and it repeats. So see how long you can make your pattern tower. Okay, and I made two different ones because I had two different size blocks, okay?